Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day. It's Evan and Josie. I wanted to talk a little bit more. It went into about our last video. So we just bought a new house and it's got a lake on it. And I wanted to go in a little bit more detail about the lake. So as I mentioned in the last video, the lake's about two and a quarter acres or so. About, yeah. <laughs> it's 18 feet deep at the deepest point is what we were told. Most of where we've been fishing so far has been more along the shallow points because it's been kind of warm for December. But the cold front just came in. It's raining quite a bit now, so it's not very good fishing. And it's probably going to be like that for most the rest of the year. So, so far with the fishing, we've caught mostly crappie. The crappie have been on the little on the skinny side too, so we definitely need to harvest some more of them. We've caught several bluegill too. Most of those have been kind of thin and nothing of any real size. And then we've got a couple bass, which the bass haven't been very long, but they've been pretty thick. Like they've been a pretty, like they're pretty healthy bass around 11 or 12 inches. So in the summertime and springtime, we hope to catch some more of those and really see what's all in the pond. So the species that we've been told has been in here have been bluegill, crappie, bass, and red ear. So we have not caught any red ear yet. And whenever we bought the house, I asked if there was catfish in the pond and there was a shocking survey done not too long ago and they didn't find any catfish, which would make sense even if they could be in there because catfish are more towards the bottom and not the top like most of the other fish. It does, it's gonna be harder to shock them and to get to see what's really in the pond. So, and I thought I saw a catfish, so I'm not really sure if they're in there. Maybe they're just pretty low numbers, but I think maybe this summer we'll try to put some jugs out, maybe try to do a video on that. And then maybe try to just put some lines in the water just to see what we can catch. Going forward, we hope to see what size bass are in here. Hopefully in the spring or the summertime, we can get more of the bass to bite and to really see just what's, you know, what's in here as far as bass. We haven't really caught many yet. But that being said, most of the next videos are probably going to have something to do with catching crappie or using different baits for crappie or something like that. Just because crappie are... They're going to be a little bit more active. We've definitely caught more crappie than everything else so far. They're going to be more active than bass and bluegill are in the summertime and the early spring. But really after the early, really like late spring, early summer is when we hope to really catch about everything in the pond. When the weather starts to get a little nicer, we'll probably try to do some live streams too. We've never, we've never done a live stream yet, but it'll be a way for you guys to get to ask questions. It'll be a little bit more interactive since it's live timing. Um, at least that's what I've seen in most live stream videos that I've seen so far. So look forward to that and other videos to come. We're going to try to be putting videos out much more often since it's much easier to fish now having a lake right at home. So that being said, we're really excited to see what 2022 has to bring. So look for more to come and we'll see you next time.